plus quarters. I thought we had uh, control of the game, and um, I thought our our pressure up front was really good. Our positioning was was pretty good in the back end. Uh, you know, I thought our guys executed our plan. Uh, uh, you know, pretty cleanly, and uh, you know, kind of again rose to the challenge. But probably my favorite part of the whole game was when they got their guys still in the game, and, and we got our. our uh, we got our, our goal line stand there at the end there. That was pretty cool. Just uh, proud of our guys are you know, coming in there and having a little toughness to them. And we did let them right down the field. So, but uh, really pleased with our guys, man. They've uh, got a chance to have a really good unit. And um, I think we're creating depth, developing that depth. Um, I think we played 70 of 72 guys. And um, so that's pretty remarkable to go on the road against a quality opponent like Louisville and be able to do that. And, uh, can't say enough about our guys. And Lamar Jackson, unbelievable player. Uh, boy, he can uh, you know he can win a game all by himself, and uh, that's the kind of stress he puts on your, your defense. And uh, uh, but just super proud of our guys. And uh, we're three and zero. Got a long season. Got a ton of things that we got to get better at. And uh, time to go back to work. You know, on Monday. You you got asked, I think, this week. You thought that this de defense might be better prepared for Lamar, and you kind of scoffed, like, oh, without Ben Bulware, without Carlos Watkins. And, but as you kind of watched them go out and play, did you feel like this defense was better prepared for um, Well, I don't know, better prepared, because I thought we really played real well against them a year ago um, through the first half and down those four <laughs> quarters. But I mean, like, <laughs> I thought we were in complete and total control of the game uh, the first half last year, and then uh, we, we didn't play complimentary football. Uh, the second half, I think, two of the first three drives, we turned it over. We get on our heels, and uh, and, uh, and and we couldn't stop them. You know, in the second half last year, but uh, I really don't think we, we played nearly as well as we did as a team. And that always helps your defense. You know, our offense being able to uh, you know take the ball and go score, and the kicking game, controlling the field position. Um, uh, you know, last year's team was last year's team. Really good group of guys. And, uh, but this unit has a chance to, uh, to develop and uh, to be a really good one. And, uh, uh, you know, we're not great yet at anything. But, uh, you know, I know this, our guys put in that kind of great work. And uh, we've got good leadership and a selfless attitude. So, I, you know, we have a lot of intangibles that, that give you a lot of belief that this group, if they continue to work, stay focused, stay humble, uh, and uh, continue to work on that chemistry and understanding what we're doing, we have a chance to be a really good unit. Did you remind them of last year, though, when you went in that locker room, you were 19 to 7? Did you remind them? 19 to 7. Yeah, when you were up 19 to 7 at halftime, did you remind them? Oh, yeah, we were, hey, yeah, we were up 28 to 10 yeah. last year, you know, and it, you know, it came. So, yeah, that was the first thing we said to them. But, you know, at the same time, really felt we were um, in, in really good control of the game, knowing, again, all that being said, it's a, you know, two score game. Uh, so, uh, never felt comfortable that way uh, by any stretch, but that we were in a rhythm and okay, here's what they're doing, here's what we got to get fixed, you know, here's what the issues are, and, uh, and, and our guys, you know, really uh, stayed locked into that. Guess who Dorian, you or Dorian and Daniel? <laughs> uh, I was really happy. That was, that was, a, that was, a, that was a great play. Uh, what a good play. But uh, he's probably happier. Yeah. <laughs> Your get back do. guy had do. his work cut out for him today. You get back. Yeah, our, our sidelines were a little tight. You know, we got to get everybody else back so we, we all can have room to, to work. But uh, it happens to get these kind of games. So. Is that almost surprising for you that that was your guys' first forced turnover despite how great you played up to that no, point? No, because it's all, you know, it's relative. Kent State never exposed himself. Uh, I think the ball was on the ground maybe once in that game. It, that game was just weird. And then, you know, last week against Auburn, um, I thought they played a, a bottled up. You know, kind of game. Tried to stay out of the drop back game. I mean, maybe a little bit, but we were we played so well. You know, the quarterback took sacks instead of throwing it to us. You know, and we played a lot of man to man a week ago. And when you're man to man, you don't have as many opportunities. And again, special when they're, they're taking sacks. So just in respect to okay, how have the games been played? Um, no. And then today we played you know quite a bit more more zone. And uh, so now you got zone eyes, you see the ball. You know, we had our hands on the bunch. And uh, so uh, I think it was just um, a victim of circumstance, so to speak. You know what I mean? The first two games. You guys have had so much success defensively with some of those late blue.